This is, this is what I was afraid of, like, just with everything that's been happening and, like, obviously getting incarcerated and then it's just, I've been, like, you know, like, with my guard up the whole time and then, like, all of a sudden it's, like, I don't want to walk into this room and then it's just, like, me just talk. It's this is like, your side of the story. Yeah. Just, you tell us the truth of what happened and, and so we ask questions all we need to do, but it's yeah. Where, yeah. yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Will you raise your right hand? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. All right. Like that's what. What did he mean? What did he say to you, basically, just in general? That that he needs somebody to get hurt, but like not to get to that point. From my understanding, was not to get killed, but to maybe like I don't know, if like rough up or beat up or whatever. Okay. At that point. Okay. So I um think that that's what I'm saying. Like I just. Little by little, maybe he's like feeding things in my head, but I can't remember those specifics. And I okay, so then you're really in now to see Fredo. So, what are you really in to see Fredo? And I know you're not saying Charlie wants me, you're just talking to see Fredo about a friend that has his problems. What's the problem you're telling to see Fredo? Just that. What? So, you told Charlie you have it taken care of. So, Charlie didn't know you were going to see Fredo, but he probably assumed is what you're saying. Yes, okay, but you didn't You didn't tell see it's from Charlie, and you didn't tell Charlie you're going to see Fredo. You just told him that you would have it taken care of. Yeah, I just feel like every single time that like, Charlie would like talk to his mom, like it was always like if I was like in the house, like, he never talked to her it, like on the phone with me, he'd always walk away and stuff. But I almost feel like his mom always knew something was going on and something needed to be taken care of. What do you have like to tell you mom, though? He would never tell you. I mean, like, he kind of, like, he, he was the type that he would really, like, oh, like, my family doesn't know anything about that. But in my head, I'm like, okay, then why do you walk away and, you know, like, whenever we're talking about something. Or, like, you know, like, you're keeping, you don't want me to hear it. Like, you don't want me to hear something. So, obviously, his mom has to have known something. I remember meeting up with him, but I don't remember him, like, insinuating, like, oh, you know, he said that he was with his parents, but... I've never like been never in, in all, all. No, not like okay. together like that. Like we're all together now. No. So you never had any conversations with his mom, Wendy? No. Never had a conversation with Wendy, never had a conversation with his mom.